Welcome to the Beach House. This is Angie Gallion, and it has been several weeks since I've come to you in this format. Um, so I'm happy to be back today. I'm coming to you with a new book review. Um, it is a book called Aru, A-A-R-U, by David Meredith. And um, he contacted me over a month ago to um, read his book. And um, it, from the description, I was very interested in it. I always like things that make you think. And um, this is definitely a book that would do that. I expect it to be juvenile fiction, and it's not. It's really um, new adult, which is kind of a new genre, I guess, um, or college age. It's, it's really designed for people who have a little bit of life experience and understand how the world works to a degree, um, but are in a phase of thinking. So it really um, delves into a lot of different questions. So the book itself is about two girls. Rose, who is at the beginning of the novel dying of leukemia, and her younger sister Corin, who is struggling with that potential loss. He does a really nice job. This book is told in third person, but you really get to go inside the main character's minds and um, understand how they work and what they think and how they feel. And he does a pretty good job with that. Um, the concept is that the daughter, Rose, who is dying of leukemia, is offered an opportunity to continue living in an environment called Aru, which is basically a computer program um, or storage. or It's very complex, the, the thinking behind it. And he does a really nice job of explaining that so that you can understand it as you're reading it. And it makes sense. And it actually feels very plausible, almost frighteningly plausible. So. The sister um, does pass away, and she is she is allowed to um, continue on in this environment called Aru. And the younger sister, Corin, is um, encouraged and invited to be a spokesperson for the company that has created Aru, which is Elysium Corporations. Now, um, Corin is a very young adolescent, like 12, 13 years old, if that, and. Um, I have young children, one of who wants to be a star, and so she is always asking me to get her into an audition for Disney, or she really wants to be on Jesse, which no longer runs, of course, but um, or The Descendants, or any of those, and I'm sure she'd be fabulous because she's a beautiful girl and she has a lot of personality, and I'm sure the camera would love her, but it just terrifies me because I know that's an industry that kind of chews people up. So um, I always hesitate, but this book really, if I didn't hesitate before, this book would definitely make me hesitate um, because Corin is whipped up into a world that she is in no way prepared for and um, encounters things that she should not have to encounter at her age. So um, I don't want to give it away because it's well worth reading. There were characters in this book that I absolutely detested and that I was very uncomfortable whenever I was inside their mind. Um, there are characters that I wanted to slap. There were, so, so he does a good job. Um, and there were characters I wanted to protect. So it's a good novel. It's, um, it's definitely new adult. And I will um, send you over to my website so you can read the full review at angieguiding.com. Thanks for joining me. I missed you all. And have a great day. Thanks.